If you want to win the Lamborghini Lego Scion Technic set, seize the moment, like my Facebook page, like this photo on my Facebook page, you're automatically entered. There's no purchase necessary. Now the giveaway ends in five hours after today's video is uploaded. This Lego set is nearly impossible to find. I'm going to double link below. Seize the moment because if you want it, you got to get it because it's going to be gone very, very soon. Today's video is going to be filled with just a bunch of rhetorical nonsense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. So first off, we are unwrapping the Ferrari and I know that seems odd, but yes indeed, the roof on the Ferrari is actually wrapped to satin black. Generally, I would never advocate to buy a car with a wrap, but in this scenario, we got a good deal. Hopefully there's not a lot of surprises. I'll explain why I did it later on in today's video, uh, but we'll see what happens. We're also going to be doing the first mod on the Ferrari today. Usually when we do mods, we hire a professional with actual skills and abilities because I don't have any. So today the optimism level is is very low Story time I started my youtube channel in july of 2012 I didn't own any cool cars back then I was car spotting in beverly hills, california I was living in my audi tt and every morning I remember waking up hoping to see a ferrari 458 or a lamborghini aventador I actually filmed a compilation video on both cars the 458 right here the aventador right here I'll link both of them below fast forward eight years here. We are and we own both cars. I would have never ever predicted that. And on that bombshell, this is a cold startup on a Ferrari 458 sponsored by Dyson. It's not actually sponsored by Dyson, but if there's any Dyson executives out there who want to sponsor a video, let me know. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last video, but I actually bought this car from a Honda dealership down in Southern California. It was the general manager's personal vehicle. Now, when I bought the car, I tried to negotiate to have them remove the vinyl and they wouldn't do it. Well, they would do it, but they had to have a professional do it and I would have to pay that professional to do it whether or not I bought the car. And I was like, well, I'm a professional. I can do it myself. So here we are. Here we are. Obviously the biggest concern with buying a car that has vinyl wrap you don't know what's underneath it. Maybe there's paintwork, maybe the owner was trying to hide something. You really don't know. And usually I wouldn't do it, but sometimes, and I got a great deal on the car. The Ferrari's not very happy with me right now with the roof all opened up. It's beeping like crazy, complete roof cycle, but having it open up like this with the heat gun, I can reach all the edges super easily and the vinyl should come off like butter. And you guys don't think I know how to do anything. They were gonna pay a professional to do this. Is out here saving coin. Smooth as butter. Oh yes. Wait, stop, please. That's just great. Isn't that just fantastic? Thank you, Ferrari. I'm trying to get work done. We have some very good news. The paint is absolutely perfect. No issues whatsoever. There's a bunch of adhesive residue left over. Isopropyl alcohol should clean that right on up. I'd probably save myself maybe 500 bucks doing that myself. It's probably like a thousand billion degrees here in Nick's garage. So if I pass out and it appears that I have not been resuscitated, if you're watching today's video, that means somehow I edited it and I uploaded it. So. I'm probably somewhat okay. Now we have only one goal for the rest of today's video. I'm gonna tell you that first, and then I'm gonna tell you guys why we're probably gonna fail on that goal. Now, the goal is to remove the passenger seat on the 458 Spider. We're starting with the passenger seat because inevitably when we fail, we can still drive the car with the driver's seat, and the goal is to install the Status Racing Purple Alcantara bucket seat. Now I was gonna put these in the Supra, I was gonna do the twin turbo Gallardo, Obviously I sold the Supra, the Gallardo is in Chicago, and the 458 Spider will look so good. Now, there's really only one reason that we're gonna fail in today's video, and that's because, you guys know this, I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Today's video is not a how-to video, so if you have a Ferrari 458 Spider, you're looking for new seats, don't watch today's video, take your car to a professional, and have somebody who's not an idiot do the install. So, there's a bolt there, there's a bolt over there, we slide the seat forward, another bolt, another bolt, there should be two electrical connections, the heated seats and the power seats, unplug those, the seat should just lift right out and sit right there. It should, it should, it should, kind of like so. And voila. The passenger seat has been successfully removed. Honestly, it took me like 15 to 20 minutes and I've never removed a seat in my entire life and that's where the good news ends. So, the seat rail that I bought for the Supra, unsurprisingly, 
doesn't fit a Ferrari 458. These mounting holes right here don't line up, so I'm not sure how we're gonna fasten this seat down, but I have an idea. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It looks good. You have to admit, that looks cool, but it's not fastened down. This is why we did the passenger seat and not the driver's seat, so that I can still drive the car. Because as you can see, like, it's not fastened down. We're getting a bunch of warning lights, AVH system failure. I have no idea what that is. Obviously I unplugged like the wiring harness for the heated seat and the power seat and the airbag system failure. Um, hmm. The Ferrari is freaking out. We have the airbag light right there, another airbag light right there. There's the wiring harness that we disconnected. It then cycles to passenger airbag off and it'll cycle one more time. Wait for it, wait for it. AVH fault code. So obviously the Ferrari is not liking the aftermarket seat. And go! Jeez. <laughs> it's a good thing we'd have a passenger because it's not fastened down. So we're headed off to Raceland. They bought my Ford Focus RS. They have just all sorts of crazy automotive accessories lying around. So we're hoping we can find the seat rail to align the 458 with the status racing seat. We'll see, but hopefully. So I just stopped by the Raceland headquarters. I didn't film it whatsoever. They didn't have a bracket in stock that would fit the 458, but they're gonna make me a custom one in two days and we're gonna get installed properly. But for the rest of today's video, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot, I told you. I forewarned you, I'm an idiot. I mean, I did predict this. So you can't sit here surprised. Of course I failed. Why wouldn't I have failed? I was hoping for once to finally finish a project on my own accord, but the boys over at Raceland, they're gonna build me some custom brackets for the 458. We're gonna go pick them up in two days, so that video will be in the future. Now in today's video, I'm still gonna remove the driver's seat just to give us an idea of what it's gonna look like. A couple key details to note, there's actually two wiring harnesses right there on the driver's seat, and then there's this pair of sunglasses that presumably the original owner used to, well, come on, oh, there we go. Now, if the original owner of my Ferrari 448 is watching today's video, I found your sunglasses. They're a little battered and bruised, the lenses are cracked, the frame is bent up, and if you want them, they're gonna be at the Salt Lake County dump. I don't know why I enjoyed that, but I did. Actually, they're fine. They're actually in better, well, yeah, they're okay. The purple Alcantara looks so good with all the black. Are you kidding me? That looks incredible. I think my plan for this car is to do a full custom interior. Like every single piece is gonna be recreated in purple Alcantara. I'm serious, like imagine this entire interior, like the door panels, the carpets, the center console, the steering wheel, the dashboard, like everything finished in purple accentuated by carbon fiber overload. That would be so cool. My tentative plan for this car, I wanna turn it into a show car, kinda of like the Supra, so like wide body kit, air ride, a custom wrap, custom wheels, an exhaust, maybe two turbos. What do you think about the seats though? This is such a good start. Cue the music. Now, not to ruin the surprise, but I have decided with 100% certainty that yes, indeed, I'm going to be cutting up my Ferrari 458 with one of the Liberty Walk kits. Now, there's two kits. I'm trying to decide which kit to go with. We have their new Silhouettes kit. I'm gonna put a bunch of pictures here. I'm gonna cover the entire screen with pics of the Silhouette Wide Body Kit. And then they have their version two kit right here. I'm gonna put a bunch more pictures and I want you guys to help me decide. I'm gonna do an Instagram story poll. I'm gonna make it live as soon as this video goes live. Go vote, tell me what you think. Do you like the Silhouettes kit or do you like the original kit? There's lots of things I love about the Silhouettes kit, like that front end looks like a La Ferrari, but here on the back end, you have all these 90 degree angles, a lot of sharp lines, whereas the 458 is so curvaceous, you might say, curvaceous, that was a big word. So the full Silhouettes kit in fiberglass is $36,000, carbon fiber and fiberglass is $43,000, and full dry carbon is $52,000. I don't know, what do you guys think? 
Honestly, I think I like the older kit better. Like, just the lines match the 458 styling so well. This car looks so crazy, and it's a little bit more affordable. So with the fatty rear wing like this one, it is $30,500 finished in carbon fiber. With the ducktail, it's a little more affordable at $28,000. What do you guys think? Do you like this kit better, or do you like the silhouettes better? I don't want to ruin all the surprises, but with nearly 100% certain, 98% certainty, I'm not wrapping the Ferrari purple. I want to, but we're not going to. But I do sincerely want to do the purple Alcantara interior. I think that would look epic. I want to do white wheels to match the Aventador and the rest of the squad, but what color should I wrap it or paint it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. What color combo would like, there's a word, there's a word, uh, compliment. What color combo would compliment the purple interior and the white wheels? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over.